What up folks, it's Alex here. Hope you're all well on this fine Tuesday evening. Now, following on from my last 5 Minute Friday video where I showed you how to do the multicam and the audio sync within DaVinci Resolve, I've had a question. Now the question comes in from someone called 50mm, so thank you very much first of all for watching the video and asking the question, it's appreciated. And they ask, how do you do the multicam if you either have no audio or really poor audio? And that's what we're going to have a real quick look at in this video today. I've got two, two cameras set up. Now this one has the mic on and is recording audio. This one has no sound at all, I've purposely disabled the microphone, so that's not recording anything at all. Now good practice with an audio sync is creating a spike, basically. So you make, you see YouTubers do it all the time. They clap, and that creates a spike in the audio, so then the sync has sort of a base, has an area to start working from. Now if you're trying to sync without any audio, you still want to do the same thing, but rather than it being an audio cue, it's going to be a visual cue, so then you can line them up. So I would advise making sure that both cameras can see something and doing an action, doing a something really sharp and you can use that as your visual cue to line up your two video files. You don't want to just be guessing and trying to line up lips because that's going to be really hard. You want a real distinctive something to help you line your clips up. So make sure you do that while you're recording. Once you've done that, get it in Resolve and I'll show you now how to line them up. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Now we're in the media tab and I've set all my project settings so we're all ready to go. Now these are the two clips that I'm going to use so I'm just going to highlight them and add them to my media pool. Now just to show you this video here in the, the graph has audio whereas this one has none at all, it's completely silent. Now that doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter whether both clips have sound, neither have sound, the sound is there but rubbish. It, it doesn't matter because we're not going to use the audio at all. What we're actually going to do is simply set a marker which Resolve is going to align which will synchronize the two clips. So the first step is to find that visual cue in both of the clips. So I'm going to start with this one here. Now, general advice do your visual cue at the beginning of the video. It makes your life easier. I didn't, so I've got to go through and find it. It doesn't matter really, but it will make your life a little bit easier if you do it at the beginning. Now I'm going to use this clap here because it's really short, sharp, and precise, so I can find the exact point. So I'm just going to use the left and right arrow keys to go frame by frame and find the exact point I clap, which is right there. My hands are completely clasped at that exact point. Now on this timeline, I'm just going to right click, I'm going to add a marker, and I'm going to choose a colour. Doesn't matter which, I'm going to stick with blue. And I'll put a little time code up here, 5 minutes 13. Now I'm going to go to my second clip and do the exact same thing. So find the exact same point. And here it is. So same thing, I'm going to use my left arrow key to go back frame by frame. And there you go, that's the exact same point on this second clip. Now I'm just going to right click, add a marker, and blue. This one is at 5 minutes and 7 seconds. And there you go, you can see the little marker on the timeline. Now, if I highlight both these clips in the media pool, right click, and I'm going to create a new multicam clip using selected clips. I can give it a name if I want to, or leave it as it is. And in the angle sync, I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to go to marker and then I'm going to click create. Now both the two original clips will go in this original clips folder and you'll end up with a multicam. Now I'm just going to go to the edit page. I'm going to grab my multicam and drag it onto my timeline the same as you usually would. Now at this point you just want to make sure that you can see both these two preview windows. If you only see one like this, you need to make sure that you click on this icon up here to make sure that you see both. And then over on the left hand side there's this icon with a drop down, give that a click and then click on multicam. And then you'll see both your angle 1 and angle 2 in this window here. I'm just going to go back to the timeline and as you can see it's selected angle 1 for the duration so there's no audio because there's no audio on angle 1 and then we've got angle 1 throughout. Now what I suggest doing here 
it selects your primary for both. So the one that you're probably going to use the most. So I'm going to right click on my video one, going to go to switch, multicam uh, clip angle, I'm going to change this to angle two. Because that's my predominant angle, that's the one I'll use the most. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my audio, because that's the one that has the audio. So I've changed that to angle two. Now, if I hit play. Two, evening. Now, I'm going to question. And everything's playing as normal. Now, there's three icons here. This one allows you to cut just the video. This one will cut the video and audio. And this one will just cut the audio. Now, because I've only got audio on one of my clips, so I don't actually care about the other audio clip. So all I want to do is click on this icon here. So I only ever chop and change between the video files, and not the audio. Now what you can do is if I hit space to play through. What up folks, it's Alex here. And at any point I can just pause by hitting the space bar again. And then I can click on angle one. And it will put a cut in the timeline and it will change the angle. And then if I hit space. I hope you're all doing well on this fine Tuesday evening. It will play through again using the different angles. You can then repeat this process all the way through your video. Watching dude. Yep. To chop and change between the angles. And that's how you do multicam. If that was useful, obviously thumbs up for me please. Comment below any questions at all. And make sure you subscribe so you can catch the next 5 Minute Friday. Cheers folks.